Hi, Steve Nicholas here with Brookside Gun Dogs at the High Lonesome Ranch. Back again to talk about our week five training tip. This week we're going to talk about how we teach the wool command to our pointers and our pointing labs. The wool command is a very important part of an upland dog's training because it keeps him from getting in too close and flushing the bird before you are in position for the shot. We start with our dog on about a 10 foot lead. After clipping it to his collar, we run a loop back underneath him and then run the end of the lead back through the loop. We do this so that we can keep him from trying to sit down when we give the woe command. Then with the dog in the heel position, give him the command woe while pulling up on the end of the lead. If he tries to move, simply lift him gently by the lead and the collar together and move him back to his original position. After a couple of days, you should be able to move around him without him trying to move. If he holds his position, give him some praise and let him know that he's being a good dog but never allow him to move until you give him the release command. Once he fully understands the command, we will then begin working him on live birds. With the dog on a lead, move him into the scent of the bird and give the woe command. If he moves, use the collar and lead to move him back into position. Once you are confident he is steady, go ahead and have someone flush the bird. Remember, he should still remain in the woe position as the bird flies away. With our pointing labs, we allow them to flush the bird but only after they are released and are trained to be steady to wing and shot. Once your dog completely understands the wool command and is steady, you'll have a more enjoyable and a more successful hunt.